Tell me what's wrong. Bring it all out and let me know what, what is going on. You questioning God and wondering, God, why I'm going through all this? Why is this happening to me? Huh? That's the conversation we having with God. We saying that while I'm going through, I feel like my life is feeling suffocated right now and I don't know what else to do. That's what you're telling God? Well, watch this video so I can help you. I can help you to understand that we're not suffering. Watch this whole video. Let's get into this. Hey, it's T Promise and we're back with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about if God is so loving, why are we suffering so much? Okay, but before we get into it, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you humble as we know how, Lord. Ask and forgive us all our sins. We sinned and I was not like you, Lord. Lord, we just love you and praise you. In your son Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Y'all, let me tell you something. It's the decisions that we make. I know you're probably like, what you mean? It's the decisions that you make. God has given you a free will, right? God has allowed you to know that I'm here for you, but it's up to you to make the decision, right? And a lot of times we wondering, God, why are you allowing this to happen to me? Ask yourself this question. What decision did I make? Come on, somebody. God, okay. Let's go back to when I said, Lord, I'm going to give it to you. But God, I just want it this way. It's about the decision that you made. Every time you open your eyes, every time you think about something, remember, is I'm making the right decision or I'm making a wrong decision because I'm going by the flesh about how I feel in that moment. All right. And see, a lot of times we say, well, God, you love me, so you won't let me go through nothing. God loves you. Yes, he do. But how would you know where your strength is if you didn't go through nothing? How would you know who God is? Come on, somebody. Because we what say, oh, I'm too good. Ain't nothing. You did this all by myself. We wouldn't even recognize God. We wouldn't even think that he loved us because we would be thinking we doing this all on our own. Come on. See, we always saying, God, why are you taking people away from me? God, why are you changing this in my life? God, why do I got to go through so much? Why not you? We remember Job, right? We remember Job had everything. He trusted God and everything. But the enemy wanted to test it. And God told him, do not touch my servant Job. All right, let me bring y'all in this. Job was still faithful because he said, even if I don't get out of this, I know God is still able. And God had blessed him abundantly. See, God want to see where we are at. God is testing our strength. He don't allow us to just be, oh my God. No, it's the strength in you. It's not like it's just burning you all the way down that you can't get yourself out. The only way you can't get yourself out is if your mind ain't right and you don't realize that I'm just going through this temporary. Right? Y'all, let me give you this word real quick. Um, Romans 5 and 3 tells us, And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Y'all, that's New King James. But y'all, let me tell you, we glory in tribulation. Just because you go through something, you glorify God. And then experience, that's preserve. Experience, if I don't go through anything, how would I be able to tell somebody else to get out of it? Oh, no, you're right, you're right. I need some experience because if God brings somebody to your door and says, I need you to pray for me, I need you to help me, how are you going to help them if you haven't even been through it? You got to gain some wisdom, and the only way you can do it is through God. And having hope, trusting God, knowing that He is going to bring you out. But you need to glorify Him while you're going through something. So God loves you enough to show that I want to show them that you got strength. That's why. He allowed the enemy to come down here to test us. Yes. But God knows that you are strong. And if you don't know that you're strong, then something is wrong right here. 
Get that relationship with God. Stop putting it on God. God, you doing this to me. God, you allowing this to happen. God got to get our attention some way, somehow. Because of the decisions that we make. Come on, Jesus. Somebody need to hear this. God is not just allowing suffering over your life. Just allow them to go through it. But God just said, I'm calling you. I'm talking to you, but you ain't hearing me. I love you so much because I want you to come to me. I want you to lay it all at my feet, Jesus. And knowing that I am the God that you need. I can bring you out when nobody else can. I got to have you go through some things and experience some things to realize I am God. You can't do this by yourself. I love you so much. That's why I'm still here. God is still there. Now you pick yourself up and say, Lord, forgive me if I said anything that was not like you. Lord, if I did anything and Lord, if I doubted you, but Lord, help me. That's what you need to do. Get up and stop doing a pity party as if God has not did anything for you because he did it all. He brought you this far. The enemy couldn't because what he do, he just spit you out and could care less how you felt. Now what? wipe your face. Wipe your tears. Get up and say, I already got the victory and this is only temporary because I got to gain some experience because God sees strength in me and I glorify God in advance because of what he's getting ready to do. All right. So, y'all, I pray that this has truly blessed you and I pray that this continue to pour into your day. And that you can walk into how God needs for you to do. All right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. Jesus. Lord, I ask you to forgive us for all our sins. We said and done. I was not like you. Lord, Lord, please help us with our unbelief. Lord, help us where we may doubt you, Lord. But Lord, continue to give us strength, Lord. Lord, knowing that you are God and God alone. Lord, we just love you and praise you right now, Jesus. Lord, we give you glory and praise right now, Lord. Lord, touch your people, Lord. And Lord, thank you for choosing us, Lord. Lord, we just love you. In your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And when you comment below, say, Lord, thank you for loving me. Thank you for seeing me. Lord, I know it's only temporary, but Lord, just continue to help me. All right, share your testimony. So, may you all be blessed and blessings to you.